Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name's Natalie and I do videos on handbag reviews, unboxings, a bit of luxury eye candy, so if you're into any of those, please consider subscribing, I'd love to have you back. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about my unicorn bag, which is this Chanel Square Mini in caviar leather in this gorgeous light pastel pink colour with silver hardware. So this is such a stunning piece, and it's also known as like the Sakura pink and I absolutely love Japan I love Sakura I love cherry blossoms so this is my absolute favorite bag of all time my unicorn piece this is me in a bag I love pink and I love the silver hardware it's such a fresh look to the bag so this was a bag that I purchased from the pre-loved market from Timeless Vogue on Instagram so if you haven't heard of her please check her out I'll leave her Instagram name in the description box below, but she is an amazing person. She's so lovely and she's also a fellow Melbourneian. So hi Sandy, if you're watching. So Sandy from Timeless Vogue, she was amazing. I was able to get this bag from her. So from her Instagram profile, she listed this at the end of last year, around October, I believe. And I'd been wanting a Chanel mini bag for a while. I just wasn't sure if I wanted a square mini or a rectangular mini and there's a few reasons behind that. Firstly the rectangular mini is very similar to my medium large classic flap so I thought maybe a square would be better but I wasn't too phased about it. I was kind of leaning more towards the square because I've seen a lot of reviews and the chain length on the rectangular mini apparently it's really really long. I haven't actually tried one in person before but I've heard a lot of people say that the rectangular mini is too long and then the square mini is actually too short but I prefer crossbody bags or shoulder bags to be quite high and especially crossbody bags I prefer it higher on the hip more towards the waist just because it's easier for me to grab things and it's I just feel a lot more secure with it closer to me or higher up on me and also if it's too long and it like hits past my hips and I walk it's really uncomfortable. I don't like it just bouncing back and forth, so that's why I prefer it for it to sit quite high on me. So I'll show you what it where it sits on me. I'm 163 centimeters, so it just goes like that. And I often wear it as a crossbody, so it just sits just there. So I think that's a really good length for me, and I like to have it just in the front like that. Or I could have it like that too if I wanted to. So yeah, I think this is a perfect length for me. If you are a bit taller, it might sit a bit too high, so that might be uncomfortable for you. But for me, that really fits me perfectly. And I know you can loop the straps inside just to shorten it, but I feel like that's a bit too much trouble. And also the minis have two grommets. So if you were to do that, it'll look a bit weird so I think some people I think it works with the Chanel walk so the wallet on chain if you were to loop it like this but because it has the two grommets on either side of the mini it just looks a bit awkward so see how if I did that it'll just stick out like that it's just not a really nice look so I wouldn't recommend doing that you could also pinch it in like that and then I, I know people like tie it with the ribbon there to shorten it but I feel like yeah that's just too much trouble and I just wouldn't fuss over something like that. I've been wanting a Chanel mini for quite a while and I knew that I wanted a pop of colour just because I already have my medium large in black so I wanted something a little bit different and pink is my favourite colour but I was happy to go with like a grey or a beige caramel kind of colour and so I'd been following Timeless Vogue and a few other resellers on Instagram and they did have pink minis in stock so whether it be rectangular or square they did have pink ones in stock when I was searching but it was never the right combination like the pink was never right or it was lambskin or it was gold hardware so I was very particular that it had to be caviar leather just because it's more durable in my opinion and for a lighter coloured bag or a pop of colour bag, I didn't want it to get colour transfers easily. So with caviar leather, it's a lot more durable. You could just scratch it, nothing will happen to it. Also, I wanted the silver hardware just because, again, my medium large is in gold hardware. So something a little bit different and something I could wear more daily. 
Whereas with my medium large, it's more of a fancy occasion. It's very timeless and classic and I feel like it's very dressy. So I often use that for special occasions like weddings or date nights or any events. Whereas I wanted a mini for casual wear and also having the option to wear it um, formally too. So yeah, so I'd seen a few on the resale market, but they were never quite right. I was actually really close to buying a mini from Timeless Vogue. It was a rectangular mini in lamb skin. I think it had silver hardware, but the pink was really, really bright. So not like a hot pink, it was more like a Barbie pink. And I was about to purchase it, but my friend was kind of like, no, didn't you say you wanted caviar? You shouldn't settle, just wait it out. And I was like, okay, I was really, I was really, really close to pulling the trigger, but I just decided to wait just because I knew that I probably wouldn't be a hundred percent happy with it. So I waited and I'm really glad I did because it was only a couple months after that one was posted, this item came up in my newsfeed. So I think Timeless Vogue posted it and it was like four minutes into the post. I jumped on it immediately. It just popped up and I DM Sandy. I was like, is this still available? Please, 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 please. <laughs> I really, really want it. And she was like, yes, it is. Um, so I transferred her the money straight away. And mind you, the Chanel minis at the end of last year were so much more affordable than what they are now. So it's ridiculous how much money has the mini has gone up, especially even on the pre-loved market. So I purchased this for like 4,000 Australian dollars and now on the resale market it's over 6,000, well over 6,000 and that wasn't even, that's how much my medium classic flap was. So it's just crazy how much it's jumped up in price and I'm just so glad I purchased this at the end of last year in the combination that I wanted. This is like a Sakura pink just because it's kind of like a light baby pink, kind of like a the cherry blossoms. I can't remember what series number it is but it did come with an authenticity card a box and the ribbon and the bag and sandy was so lovely she was able to meet me in person and uh, we were able i was able to inspect the bag so she was absolutely gorgeous and super super friendly and helpful so thank you sandy if you're watching so the reason why i went down the pre-loved route is because when chanel do colors whether it be on their small leather goods or their handbags they only do that colour once and they never repeat it. So the Chanel minis are seasonal pieces, so they're not part of the classic collection. So that just means that the particular colour or the type of leather used will vary season to season. They may come out with like another pink, but it won't be the exact same shade as this one. It might be slightly lighter or slightly darker or have a different undertone. So Chanel never repeat colours. So if there is a particular colour that you want from a season and it's in stock, purchase it immediately because once it's gone, it's gone, and you'll have to purchase it from the pre-loved market if you wanted it. And on the pre-loved market, it usually goes for way over retail price. Another thing to note is that Chanel has stopped making minis in the caviar leather now. So if you were to purchase a Chanel mini from the boutique, it'll only be in the lambskin. So yeah, if you were eyeing a caviar leather mini, you would have to go down the pre-loved market. And at first, I was never a huge fan of buying pre-loved just because I wasn't sure whether or not it would be authentic or the condition it would be in like you can't really tell from photos but after purchasing this one this was actually my first pre-loved piece and the only reason i bit the bullet on this one is because i knew i couldn't purchase it from the store anymore and so i decided to give it a go and because sandy is based in melbourne i was able to meet up with her and check out the bag in person to see if it was actually in the condition she listed it as and it was even better than she listed it and even better in person than compared to the pictures so i was really happy with that and i would highly recommend buying pre-loved now so this bag is from 2014 and it's crazy to think that it's six years old because the previous owner took amazing care of it there's no scuffing no scratches on the corners there's no color transfer at all the only wear that there is is just a few hairline scratches just on the turn lock here and that's inevitable just because you are using it and quite often and then it kind of hits on the metal part here so that's inevitable and it's only like minor hairline scratches even the inside is just perfect like nothing no scratches no dirt nothing in it it's just perfect condition so I was 
so glad I purchased it for the price that I did. So with the Chanel minis, they've got a very similar silhouette, particularly the rectangular one, but with the square, they've got the same flap here. It's the quilted leather. It's got the iconic Chanel chain with the interwoven leather strap. And then at the back, we've got the back pocket. The quilts match perfectly with the pocket line. So we've got the silver hardware, the CC logo, the turn lock. So just twist that open, that opens up. And it is made in Italy. So we've got one main compartment there, a slip pocket there, and also a zipper pocket at the back. So it's a very simple, very small bag, but you'll be surprised at how much it actually fits. It actually fits almost the same amount as my medium large classic flap, which is crazy considering how small it looks. So it's very deceiving, but I'll show you how much stuff this bag can actually hold. Before we get into what fits inside, I just wanted to show you something. So when I purchased this bag, I raved about it. I loved it so much. My partner knew just how much I loved it and the color of it and everything about it. So he actually got me this little AirPod case to match. So this is like a little AirPod case and it's just got the pink quilted. It's kind of like a little Chanel bag. And the only thing is it's got the gold hardware, whereas mine's silver, but that's beside the point. But look how cute that is. It's like a mini Chanel bag. It's super cute. So yeah, I, that's just really cute. So anyway, let's see what fits inside this kitty. So just turn that and flip it open. So I've got in front of me my Chanel classic card holder in black caviar leather. And it's just the classic quilted card holder. I'm not using this at the moment, but I do often use it when I use smaller handbags. So I'll pop that in just at the front. I've also got my car key and house keys. So if you've seen my previous videos on my mini pochette and key pouch from Louis Vuitton, you'll know what this is. So I'll pop that standing up. So next to my card holder, like so. And I've got my Chanel compact mirror. Goes in there too. I'll also put in my cute little AirPods in its little case. Put that behind the mirror. I've also got my hand sanitizer. We always have to have our hand sanitizer. So put that next to my AirPods. I've also got my little bag hook. So if you haven't seen these before, these are so amazing. Like it's just so practical. So what it is, this is the bag hook. So if you are out, currently probably not now just because we aren't really allowed out but if you're at restaurants all you do is just unwind it and this part here sits on top of the table so now there's a little hook and all you do is just kind of hook your bag onto it like that and it just holds your bag in place rather than having to pop your bag on your chair or on the floor or hang it on your chair where you can't see it I like having this just because it's right next to me it's always in sight so I know where my bag is and I just keep it off the floor just to keep it clean and all you do is just wind it back and it just goes back in place and it's just a little magnet so it's not going to come apart and it's got the gorgeous cherry blossoms on it too so as you can see I love cherry blossoms so I'll pop that in and it's really small too so I'll just pop that in on the side so I've got that there it's got plenty of space so I've already got all those items here but I've got my lip balm so this is the Dior lip glow so I'll pop that in next to my keys we've also got a pack of tissues so I'll just pop that to the top so I've also got a little rollerball perfume and goes on top as well also got a lip gloss so I've got that, pop that on top. Also got my trusty oil blotting sheets, so that'll fit in nicely in the back pocket. I'll just slip that in there. 
I've also got my hand cream, so just a mini hand cream, and that goes in nicely. So all that, I could probably still fit a few more little things in if I wanted to put more lipsticks or lip glosses, but that already is all that I really need on a daily basis, and that fits perfectly. Like, there's no bulging at all. It's still perfect. So, yeah, this little guy can hold a lot. Let's see what else, or like different variations. So sometimes I will put in a compact wallet. So if I have a bigger wallet, if there's more cards or cash that I need to carry with me, I will actually bring my wallet. So the current wallet that I'm using is the Louis Vuitton coin purse. So it is quite a lot thicker than a typical card holder. So you'll see the, the thickness of it. So we'll see how this one fits inside and how much space it takes up. So I've got that there. It takes about probably half of the Chanel Mini. So let's see what else I can fit in here. Let's say I've got my key pouch. Just pretend I have coins in here. So that goes in just in front of the wallet. I've also got my say my keys are in here so this is the six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton I've got so just lined up there also got my hand sanitizer so I'll pop that on that side also got my hand cream I've also got my lip balm my blotting sheets I'll slip that at the back again. My compact mirror. I'll also slip that at the back pocket. So it's getting pretty tight now, but I could probably fit a few more things at the top. So I've also got some tissues. So that actually fits in, I could probably fit in a lip gloss on top and also my perfume roller ball. So that actually sits in on on top and it's not bulging or anything so and that'll close like so so it is quite a bit heavier just because i've got a bigger wallet but that all fits in there too so this is actually a really really good piece and you wouldn't think that so much actually fits in there so i think this is a really really good casual bag i often wear it with just a t-shirt and jeans i've also worn it to a wedding before so just i had like a pink dress on and this just looked absolutely gorgeous so you could easily dress up an outfit with this or even just casually I think it's really really nice and yeah my unicorn bag so that's all for today's video I really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I'd love to have you back for future videos but until then I'll see you next time bye